Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an awesome day so far. It feels like it's been so long since I've sat down and filmed a video for you guys. I took the last couple of weeks off of YouTube, not because anything big happened, but we were busy with a few different projects and it was nice to just enjoy our vacation that we had together and make the most out of summer. But I'm really excited to be back into the swing of things and making videos for you guys. I'm also gonna be posting a little life update video just to catch you guys up on a few things. That'll be coming in the next few days, so keep an eye out for that. But for this video, I thought what better way to jump right back into things than by filming another money-making video. So today we're going to be talking about money-making hobbies. I've made a bunch of these videos on my channel before, but you guys always seem to really like them. So we'll have some other ones linked down below in the description if you want even more ideas of money-making hobbies that you can try. I think hobbies are really important for us to have because they give us a way to exercise our creative side, they're good for our mental health, and they give us something fun to do every day outside of regular work. As you'll be able to see from this video, you can pretty much turn any hobby into a money-making side hustle. Of course, it's important to have things in your life that you do just for fun, with no agenda, just a way for you to unwind, but it's also really nice to be able to make money from something that you love doing. So the first hobby that I wanna talk about that you could potentially make money from is tea. Drinking tea, tea accessories, mugs. See, I told you guys, that you can turn any hobby into a side hustle. So if you're someone who loves drinking tea, you're interested in the different flavors and health benefits, you could try selling your own tea in an online shop or at a farmer's market. All you'd have to do is find a wholesaler that you like, create your tea combinations, and then package it up to sell. There's actually a little tea shop here in Halifax that I love. It's so cozy and they sell so many different types of loose leaf teas. I've always loved tea and I drink a cup basically every day, so I think this is such a fun hobby slash business idea to try. The next money-making hobby that I have for you is flowers, and who doesn't love fresh flowers and floral arrangements? I've recently started watching a girl here on YouTube named Brittany who has her own flower farm, and I've been loving her videos. I'll have her channel linked down below, but she grows a bunch of different flowers on her land, and every week she puts them together in bouquets and brings them to her local farmer's market to sell. She also does wedding and offer subscription services with her flowers, and I just think it's so much fun. But even if you aren't in a position where you can start growing real flowers, you could always practice putting together bouquets of artificial flowers and selling these as well. You could go to the thrift store and pick up some vases to put them in, and then sell them on Facebook or wherever you want to. There's so many options. If you're someone who loves to draw, paint, write calligraphy, anything like that, you can definitely make money from this hobby. Etsy is a great place to sell prints and copies of your artwork. So I guess what you could do is create a piece of art and then scan it into your computer. Then you can sell as many copies as you want on Etsy. People who buy your art can then print it out and hang it on their walls in their house as wall art. Another way that you can make money with drawing or painting is by doing custom pieces or Portraits. I know this is really popular around Christmas time because people really like to give portraits of pets and family members as gifts. I know some artists will charge hundreds of dollars for custom portraits, so this is definitely a hobby that you can make money from. Driving is something that a lot of people like to do, but they don't necessarily think of it as a money-making hobby. I've seen tons of part-time delivery driver positions advertised, and I think this would be a great side job for someone who enjoys driving. You could also make money by being an Uber driver or delivering food for companies like Skip the Dishes, Postmates, Uber Eats. There are truly tons of jobs these days for people who love to spend their time driving. If you're on the road anyway, why not just make a little bit of extra money in the meantime? Home decor is one of those things that I feel like a lot of people love and usually have way too much of. I was recently at a vintage show here in Halifax where different vendors brought all of their vintage clothing and home decor pieces. It was so fun and I thought it was such a great way for these people to turn their love of vintage pieces and home decor into a profitable side hustle. We all know I love selling on Facebook Marketplace and I always have great luck selling home decor on there, so try it out if you have too much home decor at your house and you want to make some extra money. 
All right, guys, another money-making hobby I want to talk about is repair work, odd jobs, working with your hands, etc. This idea is great for the person who likes to stay busy and is always looking for that next project or task to complete around their house. With websites like TaskRabbit, Handy.com, and Airtasker, it's super easy to find people in your area looking for help with everyday projects. Since getting engaged in December, I have been opened up to the world of all things wedding related. And let me tell you, there is a lot that goes into planning a wedding. For me, I'm the type of person that wants life to be as easy as possible, and that's why I'm hiring a wedding planner to help with my wedding. Although I don't have much interest in weddings, I know there are some people that love everything marriage and weddings. If this sounds like you, I think wedding planning would be such a perfect money-making hobby. Even if you didn't want to do full-on wedding planning, you could also offer day of coordination services where you go to a wedding the day of and act as an assistant to the bride and her wedding party. If you are interested in weddings, there are so many different ways that you can get involved, like doing the flowers or doing the wedding cake or even doing the photography or videography. Moving on to the next hobby, not only are crystals beautiful, but they also supposedly carry different energies which are helpful for healing, calming, and protection. I don't consider myself to be super knowledgeable on the topic of crystals, but as I'm browsing on Etsy, I always see tons of shops selling crystals as decor pieces or included in jewelry. If you're interested in selling crystals or making crystal jewelry, I would recommend finding a wholesaler for your crystals and making an online shop to sell your products. Like I said, Etsy is a great place for selling crystals and I think this would be a perfect money-making side hustle. Okay, everyone, that's it for today's video. That is all of the money-making hobbies that I have for you today. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up so that I know and I can make more videos like this one. In the description box, I have my Instagram, my Facebook, my Etsy shop, all of that stuff that you guys need to find me in other parts of the internet. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.